Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and I'm here for an album review for you guys. Now for this review I'm going to be reviewing Senjutsu by Iron Maiden. Of course the new Iron Maiden album it's finally here and I'm definitely excited to be talking about it on this video because well this was one of my most anticipated albums of the year to be quite honest. And we've all been waiting for a new Iron Maiden album to come out for a little while now, so it's really crazy to think about that we finally have a new Iron Maiden album out right now. I won't be going over every single song on this album, but I'll talk about most of them anyway and talk about the highlights, of course. So the album does start off with Sinjutsu, the title track. Uh, I do think that this is a very good song. It's not one of my favorites on the album. But I do think it's very good though, and it's a pretty strong way to start off the album. Now, right away when you listen to this song, you can tell that Iron Maiden are really stepping it up uh, in terms of instrumentation because uh, instrumental-wise, I think this band has really improved, especially with the drumming. I mean, uh, the drumming really does sound good in this song, and yeah, I think it's a good way to start off the album. Then, of course, Stratego it was one of the singles, and... Uh, this song has grown on me a lot over time. I do think it's a great track though. Of course it's got some uh, really melodic sounding riffs and Bruce sounds really good in this song of course. I'm not going to dive too much into that song since I've talked about that song before on the channel. Same with the next song, The Writing on the Wall, which was the first single. Uh, I remember when this song first came out as a single, I remember thinking, wow this sounds really different for the band. And yeah, it's definitely a bit different for Iron Maiden, but still very strong though, still a very strong track. Lost in the Lost World is a very interesting song. Now, I actually heard some theories uh, from other Iron Maiden fans that are saying this is supposed to be a sequel to Stranger in a Strange Land or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But all in all, I do think it's a pretty great track. Um, it's kind of surprising in terms of what it has to offer because it is kind of emotion-driven, kind of dark-sounding. I think if you're a fan of the A Matter of Life and Death album, I think that this is probably uh, a song that you will enjoy, because it's definitely dark and moody, like some of, the, some of the songs from that album. Days of Future Past is also a very good song. I do like it, though. I think uh, Bruce sounds really good in this song. Uh, I think he's really the thing that really uh, makes the song uh, stand out, I guess. I mean, he definitely sounds great in, in this song. Now we move on to the second half of this album where you get the longer tracks from this album. And I do have to say that the rest of this album is very solid. But one track I do want to talk about in particular is Darkest Hour. I think that this is another song where the guitars really shine, especially the solo. I think it's got a fantastic solo. And there's just a lot to like about it, as well as the rest of the uh, tracks from this album. Overall, I do have to say that this is a really great album, and I'll even go as far to say that this is the best album that Iron Maiden has done, at least since either Brave New World or Dance of Death. I think it's that strong. And I think chronology-wise, this album kind of sounds like it could have came out in between Dance of Death and A Matter of Life and Death. I don't know if anyone else hears that, but all in all, I do think it's a really great album, and it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of Iron Maiden or any type of metal, of course. So as a score, I'll have to give Senjutsu by Iron Maiden uh, probably an 8.7 out of 10. I think it's a really great album, so that's my review for the new Iron Maiden album, Senjutsu. Well, I do have to say that as of now, this is album of the year. Uh, we'll have to see how the albums uh, that are also coming out this fall turn out, but either way, this is a very strong album that's worth checking out for sure. So let me know what you guys think. Have you checked out the new Iron Maiden album? And if so, what do you think of it? And I'm definitely looking forward to getting my copy in the mail because I do have the album pre-ordered. So with that being said, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and take care.